Oh, I've got this rotary wall phone. This was actually in the house when we moved here. And it worked fine for many years as long as we had uh, copper phone lines. But eventually they disconnected the copper phone lines and we switched to a voice over internet uh, VOIP line. So there's the adapter. It's a Grandstream HT286. Connected this phone up to it and it didn't ring anymore. So the signal to ring these phones is a low frequency AC signal, uh, 20 hertz. And the old phone lines had about a 90 volt uh, AC signal. Some of the VOIP adapters, some of these adapters, they just don't have as high of a voltage. And I actually measured mine. It was about uh, 40 volts. So it could be that just don't have enough voltage to uh, activate the ringer here. So if you have one of these phones, several things you have to check first. One is that the ringer is wired correctly. So this red wire from the ringer, that should connect to this L2 terminal on the terminal block here. And that also connects to your uh, red wire on the actual phone line. Then there's a black wire on the ringer that comes from the back of the coil here. That should be connected to this L1 terminal. That's the terminal in the middle here. And that also connects to your uh, green wire from the actual phone line. Now some older systems, that black wire is connected to this, this terminal. This is the ground or, or G terminal. You don't want it there, you want it down here on the L1 terminal. Okay, so that was right, but it uh, it still didn't ring. There is a capacitor here, that's the A and, and K terminals. And actually this is a double coil. And it goes through half the coil, back through the capacitor, then back through the other half of the coil and then to, to the L1 terminal. So I, I checked both coils, or both parts of the coil. I checked the capacitor. Uh, they were all good. Uh, still didn't ring. So another thing you want to check on these phones is the spring tension. So there's a spring tension adjustment. And there it is. It's that little brass bracket with the holes here. So you want this for minimum spring tension and that's with the spring on the right hand side. You don't want it on the left hand side. So I adjusted that but it, it still didn't ring. So to try to diagnose the problem I set up this signal generator with a 20 hertz uh, AC signal. That's the usual ring frequency and boosted that with a little transformer to about 25 volts, fed that directly into the ringer. Found it still didn't ring, but I could detect a very slight rattle as though it were trying to uh, vibrate. And what I noticed is there's a bar here. This bar is connected to the clapper. And that's the actual ringer. And what I notice is if I put my fingernail between that bar and the frame of the ringer, then I could get it to vibrate enough to uh, ring it. Of course, that'll bring the clapper a little bit closer to the bell. So then I thought, what if I just put something in there to move the uh, bar over a little bit? So I put a double piece, a double thickness of just a plain old labeling tape in there. And now it seems to work. Okay, so I've got this connected to the VOIP line. 
And let me just call myself here. And there it is ringing. It's kind of a wimpy ring. It's only hitting one of the bells. But it does ring. So if you have one of these phones, doesn't ring. Might want to try that. I can't guarantee it'll work, but it did the trick for this phone. Okay, we're all back together here. Let's give it a try. Still ringing. Thanks for watching.